Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing Hero Wars, Chapter 13 of the campaign, Escape from Winter, Crystal Throne, Chapter 13, Crystal Throne. The Realm of Ice ends here, but will you get to Shavarak's Domain Alive? In this stage, the main enemy is probably going to be Shavarak, who's the boss, and I'll talk more about him later. He and also another other enemies are Lady Mistral, who can control your main your front hero, probably your tank, and so they will be attacking the rest of your heroes. They also do a little bit of magic damage, so things to keep in mind. Master of the Forest just does a lot of magic damage. Valkyrie has a lot of health and armor, and can raise her shield and become virtually immune to physical attacks and 50%. Resistant to magic and pure damage. And the little golem is a tank. And I'm not needed this time. What you can get from this stage is Helios, the Soul Stones of Helios, Dwarven Hardbane, Staff of Neutralization, and the Archangel's Mace. Sorry, Angel's Mace recipe. This requires 24 energy to do, and so yeah, we're going to be doing it. Here's what I'm going to be using our Chara as a tank. Yasmin for a lot of damage in the boss, Krista and Mojo for damage, Mojo helps against the boss because of his violet ability, doing extra damage to one thing helps a lot bosses, and Thea as a healer, and Oliver as a pet because it's the strongest pet I have, by far. And so yeah, we're going to begin, here are the stars by anything. And so, first stage, there's just a little golem, which, which probably that's a tank, Valkyrie, which is an uh, even more effective tank, and yeah, I'm just going to call it Siren, um, that can control my tanks, so Travis can be attacking me this battle, and yeah, they both deal just a little bit of physical damage, 3,000 to Chava, 80% like 12,000 normally, Valkyrie deals 2,000 to Chava, well 3,000, probably like, I don't know. 14,000 normally. Because I know Travis 80% resistant to physical damage. You don't want the exact percentage for magic damage. And I'm just going to be getting energy out of everything now because saving it for the next stage because there's a Helios and Helios can hurt Yasmin very badly. So now it's just kind of going to be waiting and. I am unmuted, and audio is still not coming from the game for whatever reason. Might have to check that before the next video. But otherwise, from that, everything seems to be good in the game too. 45 seconds left, so that's pretty much the purpose of this. It, these two guys in the siren, it's to drain time because the little gun will take a little bit to kill. The siren, not siren. Valkyrie takes a little while to kill, and the sirens are making everything else take longer to kill. Excuse me. Second stage, main threat if you have a Yasmin is probably Helios. Probably still is regardless because she's a hero. And so we're going to hope that Yasmin does not crit during that. And But the thing is that Spear, it'll disappear after a little bit, and that's when you want to use the Yasmin on Helios. And now... And... She missed. And I had to trigger it immediately, because that was the, um, only possible time to do it, and the Yasmin's dead, so I'm going to have to restart this. Because I targeted Yasmin wrong. Same thing as last time. Same threat, Little Golem, Valkyrie, and Siren. So I'm probably just gonna wait for this one and do much less commentary than I was doing before. Yasmin's killing him. Soon to be dead. Yasmin does a lot of burst damage without skills and can crit for a lot. Now it's just waiting, and, I'm, and I'll try to talk so there's less interference while this is happening. 
but I believe I reduced the interference since last time, so that should be better. Probably gonna have to check on why the game isn't making any sound, but for now we're doing pretty good. Definitely gonna have enough time, but that's because I am seeing this stronger than you probably will have when you're doing this. So just things to keep in mind. Again, like 95% resistance to physical damage when she's holding a shield, and 50% to magic and physical. Not sorry, magical magic and pure damage, which resists pure damage, which is very uncommon. And the Siren also has a lot of armor, twice as much that, almost, well, almost twice as much as the, maybe it's three times, I forgot how the exact armor scales, but then the Valkyrie. So now for this one, we're going to hopefully do it correctly. Do all that. Um, Krista and Mojo, that makes a combo of penetration and attack, so it deals a lot more damage. And I don't want to assassinate Helios. I my is probably strong enough to assassinate Helios, but I don't want to. And, okay, fine. I'll do it. Because she summoned it again. Luckily, my Yasin was strong enough to die. Again, apparently. But we're just going to do it without Yasin. I don't think we can, but I'm going to try. That is unfortunate, because... I should probably not encapsulate the little golem first with the Chaba, so I shall do that next time, unless I win this time, in which case those are things to keep in mind, that if you encapsulate him with Chaba, then you won't be able to kill Helios in the time frame when the solar wind is not active. And if you were using Yasmin, then she would kill Helios, teleport back, then probably get hit by him, like, sometime then. Then she would probably still survive that, so then she could kill him, and just then it would be much easier. Now for the boss. I hope I can still beat him. I think I can, but it might be much closer than if I was using Yasmin. If Yasmin can just one hit him once and kill him, this shall be harder. The boss is annoying because he freezes up two guys and can just hit all of you guys at once. I am waiting for Krista to hopefully get more health. Not health, um, what's it called? Energy. And so this is going to be annoying in the meantime. And I think I'm going to have to restart. That's unfortunate. I'm going to restart again, and do the entire process all over again. This time without eating the little gong at the beginning of the second fight. So yeah, I'm gonna do this again. And so yeah, we're getting the little gong low, Travis now being controlled, so I'm gonna put up Oliver. So he is giving all my other people more energy, which is good, because I have Oliver to take out all of the um, physical damage, and Chava doesn't have that many other skills. Um, yeah, he does that, but besides, sorry, besides his ultimate, well, he does, but not that ones that deal damage to you, that's what I meant. And so that's how Travis helping actually a little bit here because she's getting he's getting crystal more if I can find house crystal more damage not damage energy why do I keep on confusing him well he's is doing damage but Yasmin's mostly dodging him because Yasmin has a lot of dodge and I'm sorry if his commentary is less good I am but I've been trying to commentate many times on this one video. I did this before I recorded the video, and it was fine. But... Mm. Siren's almost dead. Siren's dead. 
And now we're going to hopefully win without doing the job. That should make the difference. Unless it's still put exact same time. It should. And Yasin, if you have Yasin, you'll probably be critting things a lot less at this point because your Yasin will, will probably have less crit chance. Okay, Helios is dead. Well, yeah, Helios is dead. Now I can just kill everything else. Also, she's immune to debuffs when she's doing that. Well, almost immune. Up to level... What was it again? 120? She's... Has a lower chance to get inflicted with a debuff, which is just another thing to think about. Java can't swallow her. It's harder to stun her or silence her. Do anything like that. The uh, got lucky. Silence her. And now for the boss again. So I'm going to immediately get off one of those. And here I'll make a lift, so I'll try to mouse over quickly. Now, Yasmin will hopefully attack. So once she attacks him, he's dead. And I don't know why, but Yasmin can also attack through the silencing. Another thing to keep in mind, because what this boss does is hurt a lot like that. A lot of physical damage and silence. So, that we got Staff of Neutralization, Dwarf and Hardbane, and 24 guild activity points, $6,200. Yasmin did the most damage. Almost a million, everyone else did varying amounts, the boss did the most, and it's taken, the boss does 551,000 health, all of it healed a lot, so did Thea and Mojo a little bit, and he has in this Fenris which is 9,000 armor penetration and 630 physical attack, all of it gives Chaba 2,900 armor and 29,000 health. And so yeah, that was the video, please like and subscribe, bye!